What's, what's going on, technicians? Hey, um, today I got a uh, install on this mobile home. Uh, if you look at my other video clip, I got a, um, I went to this uh, mobile home to give a quote. So um, I went ahead and picked the equipment up so I can go right now in the morning, go ahead and install, install it and try to get a good start on it. It looks like it's about to rain. Let me show y'all something. So I got to, uh, you know, hurry up and uh, get started. You know, um, right now I'm heading, uh, the house is in Northport. With the mobile home in Northport right now, I'm in Tuscaloosa. Um, I'm in T-Town, so Northport, you know, it's right near the T-Town, so it's not too far from it. So once I get there, I hope I can beat the rain. So if you look at it, it's getting dark, cloudy. Um yeah. Uh I got I got um I got some tents. I got tin and everything, so but yeah man, I hope I can get get done before it starts raining. But if not, I got an umbrella and I got a tent. I really just gotta do a pump down on the outside unit and change the furnace so it's not like I gotta do major work. So when I get there I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm record just a little so you guys can see. I'm gonna do a pump down, put all the refrigerant in, in the uh, compressor, then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take the uh, furnace loose and all that type of stuff. All right, see y'all when I get there. All right, technicians, I see it start raining, so look at my windshield, it start raining. Um, but I'm not gonna open up, you know, in the you know when the rain is drizzling, you know, don't don't open up. I'm not gonna open anything up outside like the uh I don't have to open like the uh unit up like the I don't have to cut the lines or I don't have to do nothing like that. I'm just throwing the pump down, so uh, I'm having my umbrella and all this stuff, so I think that should be good. Oh yeah, it's seems like coming down a little faster now in the rain. I don't know if you can see it on the windshield. Y'all see it start raining on me. Um, so, um, I gotta go ahead and, I'm trying to just slack down a little bit, but if not, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and set up with my umbrella, my umbrella and stuff, so. Uh, I gotta get the job done, cause I gotta go to a, um, today, later on today, I gotta uh, re uh, replace a uh, evaporator cord, so I gotta hurry up and get done with this. All right. All right, technician, right now, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a pump down so I can, um, to replace the uh, furnace, I gotta, um, I gotta take the evaporator cord loose and pull it up from the uh, furnace. That's why I'm doing a pump down. So that's the only way I can replace the uh, electric furnace on mobile home. So we got the pressure looking good. As you can see, so. Once it come on, I'm pumping down. Got everything set up. Everything look good right there. So, all right. I use Milwaukee. This is what I pump down with this. This is what I use for my pump down. 
is faster. 516 and a 316. You do this, it's a whole lot faster. Oh yeah, another way. Another, oh, by the way, when you do this, man, make sure you get some good tools, man. I use mostly DeWalt and uh, Milwaukee, but they got other brands out there. This is just what I use. Make sure you get some good tools. You want to invest in something that's going to last a long time. Almost there. We almost there. We're almost there. Alright, we're almost there, y'all. Alright, now I can go ahead and start. See? That's it. I can take this off. Alright, technician, on to the next step. Check for power. It's good to have me a walk. Double check. All right, we don't have nothing now. Make sure y'all grab this right here.
all right technicians i got them out of the way so um now i'm about to install the new one This is the new one I'm about to install, so. I'll try to lift now, just, um, you know, let it fall down, kind of guide it when it falls down. All right, so, I'm gonna take this in and install this one. All right, got the new one in. folks trying to put it together this is what i use right here get, get this and that that's all you need
Hey, when y'all use them, stay bright. You know, don't, you see that little gap? It's kind of get focused. Make sure the gap real tight when you use them, stay bright. But with that uh, brazen rod, you can leave a uh, gap, you can cover that gap. But with stay bright, you gotta make sure it's tight for the work. You don't need them but a little. But put it all the way around. I don't know why I put it right here. That was my mistake. Show y'all how I'm show y'all how this on um, stay bright look. See it? It's stay bright. Use no nitrogen. I like to use this so I can clean it up pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, pressure test with Stay Bright. So, see the pressure on zero. So I'm gonna see uh, how well it hold pressure. I'm gonna let it go in on my um. Yeah, I'm gonna close my low side. I'm gonna let it go in on my. 
on my uh, on my, uh, la la. I'm gonna let it go in on my um high side. All right, let's see, John. Let's see what's going. Thirteen. I'm putting on twenty five, twenty seven. I'm gonna leave it right here first. Make sure I don't have no leaks. I'm, I'm I'm going to put it on at least fifty. Put on fifty, fifty something. All right. <laughs> I got my vacuum going. Um, once it starts getting to micron, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the wiring. Go ahead and hook it up while I'm pulling the vacuum. Got it. So I got my setup. They got my setup. I'm going to pump. All right, now we're in a micron. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in the inside and go ahead and uh, start hooking the wiring. All right, I got all this together. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some insulation on this right here and uh, turn it on, clean it up pretty good and see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Um, I don't have to see if it's gonna leak because if, if you can get down to 212 or 13 microns, I guarantee you doesn't have a leak. So I'm not gonna wait on it because, all right. All right. Okay, got everything on, start running now, so. Just gonna watch it. I got on heat, so that fan blowing. Put the top part on there. I'm finna, I'm finna turn up a little bit now. Yes, sir. 